Hey everyone, I'm back with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial, but this one also applies to Photoshop. We're going to talk about how to color line art, not to color the actual lines, but how to put color on top of your drawing. So we'll uh, say that you've got your inks here on one layer and there's a layer below that. Now I'm going to go up here to the layer where the inks are. That's on this one. I'm going to set the layer to a multiply. Okay. So what that does is it lets the color um, come through and anything that's um, white will become essentially transparent. So we go to a layer below it and we're going to get a base color. So we'll just get a basic um, brownish skin tone base. And just for the sake of this, we'll pick one of these guys. Let's just pick this one right here. Okay. So you can color in the area. You can also get uh, the lasso tool and kind of mask off the area and do the paint bucket. That's a pretty fast way of doing it. Whatever you find uh, the easiest. Just make sure that if you're using a pen that you have uh, anti-aliasing off because if you don't you see this little um it fades it which can be a good effect except when i go to um, fill it in you see it leaves that little line so when i switch anti-aliasing off what happens is that it makes it just very pixelated so when i fill it in it's smooth all right so we'll say we got our whatever um, colors we want We'll get a little, like maybe a little blonde gold hair. I'm just going to be real quick with this for the purposes of the tutorial. Um, white for the eye, and we'll just get a little bluish, grayish thing going down here for his shirt. Okay. So this is um, just flat colors. Now, when you want to go in and put shadows and highlights, and this is like the bare minimum um, uh, number of... Uh, easily editable, editable layers. Okay, so I'm going to make another layer on top of what I just did. The line art is still on the very top. So the flats are going to be the bottom. And then the next one up, I'm going to set to multiply. That's going to be a shadow color. So now what it does is when I go in here, see, it makes everything darker. So it's, it's a really good way to, and if I'm uh, to do shadows. If I switched it to normal, it would look like the color I selected. I'm going to put it on multiply and I could use, I could use a purple. That works too. Just depends on what you feel like using for your particular drawing. Okay. So I'm gonna go through, do all those. I'm going to make one more layer and that's going to be set to screen. Okay. And it's on top of the multiply layer. So I'm going to pick maybe a, um, Kind of a brownish orange color. If I pick a bright yellow, it's going to be even brighter. I can bring the opacity down maybe. But that screen layer lets me go through, pick my light source. And there's my highlights. Now, I can edit, like I said, the opacity on all of these to kind of change how intense the shadows are. But keeping them on different layers lets me avoid mistakes and go, oh, so I don't have to be like, oh, I don't want the shadow there. And then when I try to erase, all of a sudden I'm erasing the, the flat color. So set up multiply layer on top with your line art. The flats will be a normal layer at the bottom. On top of that, a multiply for your shadows. And then on top of that, screen for your highlight. Again, super easy. You can get really crazy with layers. You can do it different ways. But in Clip Studio Paint and Photoshop, that's a super easy way to get it set up if you have not done it before. Hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if uh, there's any other types of tutorials you're interested in. And be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you next time.